Hey, I'm Richard Gamble uh, from the Wall of Answer Prayer, and this is our April update. Um, obviously, it's only two weeks ago since uh, we did this, but obviously, so much has moved. Uh, it's been a, it's been amazing, um, and and obviously incredible times in the, in that respect. Um, just a, so, just a quickie in terms of our planning. Uh, the council uh, have postponed all committee meetings, which is understandable. They'll be under a lot of stress at the moment. Um, and so consequently, uh, we are not gonna get our planning decision in April. It was due for April the 6th. And we're hoping now that that will be in line for May, but we are so close to get our planning permission. And a couple of people have said to me, um, I guess there's nothing for you to do now and that is totally not the case we are working our socks off and um, let me just explain why uh, at the moment uh, watching the news is pretty dark and and even going on social media and looking at the vast array of stuff that's on social media is can be pretty dark too and, and I know that there are a lot of people suffering from fear and anxiety right now. And our role, our track, if you like, at the Wall of Answer Prayer, you know, it's a national landmark of hope. We want to share hope. And we don't have to wait till the thing is built to share hope. So what we are going to do, um, and here's the logo, we are gonna try and collect 10, thousand testimonies over the next 30 days and we would like you to be part of that why are we doing that because we want to share and fill social media with the stories of what God is doing we want to um, we want to fill Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram with stories of hope so people can see that God is still alive, that he is sovereign, that he is listening and he answers. We've got stories to share with you from Wuhan and Hungary and Beijing and Shanghai. Stories of people being healed of COVID-19. Stories of God providing for people where they had no hope, where they've never been in need before because we want people to know and find the God who answers. So can you help us? That's a massive ask, by the way, 10,000 testimonies. It's a little bit terrifying. We're gonna look very stupid if we don't get it, but I just believe that's what God's told us to do over this month. So, how do we get there? Number one, we're looking for social media warriors. So if you can give us 15 minutes of your time a day, instead of flicking through on Facebook and all of that, give us 15 minutes where you can intentionally connect with people, encourage them to share stories, or tag people in so that they can see the stories. If you can do that, here's the email. I'm pointing at a brick wall to be honest, but I'm hoping they're putting an email address on there. Please email this address and become one of our social media warriors, one of our volunteers that's gonna help us spread hope on social media. Secondly, we need your testimonies, we need your stories. So take this time when we're in lockdown to write down the things that God has done and send it to us. Again, here's a brick wall, but hopefully also here is a link Go onto the website and you can either um, share your story up to 500 words, you can share a video, you can share an audio. We want to capture that story in whatever way you can. And over the next month, we're going to give you loads of ideas of how you can share testimonies and get testimonies from other people. But give us this opportunity to share hope with the nation. Um, it's going to be an exciting month. It's hopefully going to be an inspiring month for many people. And we're going to spread hope. We're going to be hope mongerers instead of spreading fear and being scaremongerers. That's not to underplay what's going on. I know it's very, very serious. 
out there right now, but there is a greater truth. And the truth is that God is sovereign, that he is a God of love, that he is a God of compassion, that he is a God who provides, that he is a God who protects, and we wanna share those stories. Be part of it now with us. Let's go on a journey together and try and raise those 10,000 testimonies and declare to the nation that God is alive, he listens and he answers. Thank you.